Margins are the white areas that surround our printed text. And sometimes it's very helpful to see these margins displayed on the screen. In this clip on Microsoft Word 2007, we'll learn how to set margins, how to see them, and how to adjust the alignment of our paragraphs. To view our margins, or text boundaries if you like, let's click the Microsoft Office button here in the upper left corner of the screen. And click the Word Options button at the bottom of the menu. At the Word Options dialog, click the Advanced button here on the far left. Then scroll down in the right pane to the Show Document Content area, where we'll activate the checkbox next to Show Text Boundaries. Now click OK and the margins are displayed. These boundaries don't print, they're just there to help us on screen. Now let's learn a quick way to change the existing margins. We'll click the Page Layout tab, then in the Page Setup group, click the Margins button. Here we are given a series of preset margins, and if none of these meet our requirements, we can always come down here to the bottom of the menu and click Custom Margins. From here we can set the desired top, bottom, left, and right margins, as well as the gutter position if it's needed. And clicking OK will return us to our original document. Remember though that these changes affect the entire document. The appearance of our documents has a great effect on how we're perceived by our reader, so let's learn how to make some additional adjustments to our document. For the next feature, we'll use this simple three-line paragraph. Paragraph alignment is simply choosing which margin the text lines up with. We'll click the insertion point into our target paragraph, come up and select the Home tab, then in the Paragraph group on the ribbon, we can apply Left Alignment, Center Alignment, right alignment, or full justification. We may also want to adjust the blank space above or below the paragraph. To do that, we'll click the Paragraph Dialog Launcher checkbox here in the lower right corner of the group, and we can make custom selections from the Paragraph Indents and Spacing dialog. It's also from this dialog that we can set our line indents and spacing. Notice too this handy preview window to help us visualize our choices. It's also good to know that we can set our indents and spacing from the ribbon. To use that method, just click the Page Layout tab, then set them from the Paragraph group. There, we've learned in this clip how to set and see our margins and how to align our paragraphs for a clean and easy-to-read document.